So this past summer, I decided to carve a fish. And uh, I mean, I had a book on how to do that, but I was still pretty clueless. And after several months later, well, six to be exact, I actually ended up finishing it and it looked pretty good. So I decided I was going to make another one, but I was going to try to improve on some of the things that I didn't like in the other one. So someone that I know lended me a uh, fish carving book and uh, that book, it kind of went over just some basic things on fish carving, but it also had a bunch of just drawings or pictures like this of different species of fish. So I started by cutting it out and then outlining it onto just a piece of wood and then cutting that out with the bandsaw. And yes, if, in case you were wondering, this is real speed. I am this quick. So after I got it cut out with the bandsaw, I just kind of went through with the belt sander and just kind of got rid of all like the marks that the uh, bandsaw made. So once that was finished, it was time to draw the top view of the fish. And since I'm only doing half a fish, it makes it a lot easier. And you don't have to worry about getting things symmetrical. And I'm leaving the tail uh, pretty blocky for now. I'm going to go through and work on that more in detail. So now that I have the basic top view shape done, I'm going to go through and just kind of do basically just going to work on the tail fin and just get that general shape, try and get like a little bit of curvature on it, make it look natural. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just drawing guidelines and I'm going to end up cutting everything in between those lines and then after that I'm just going to sand it down and that'll give the fish a nice rounded edge.
here you can just see the absolute master focus that goes into making these fish. And by master focus, I mean there's probably nothing going through my brain. And now it's time to do some fins. So fins are kind of complicated, not really complicated, they're just more intricate and take a lot more time. So in this clip, you're really gonna wanna pay attention and just watch my hand movements. It's very important that you do exactly what I'm doing right now. Don't know if you can see that, but super important. Next thing you wanna do after you got it cut out is just launch it into the wall as hard as possible, just like that. That'll make it look as realistic as possible. So now that I got the blocky fins, it's time to actually add some a little bit of curvature to it and just overall make it a lot thinner, more fin-like. So I don't really know what the best technique to get all the fin rays and stuff in. I usually just kind of end up rotating between using a Dremel, using sandpaper, and using a knife until I end up with something that I like. So 
So I know some of you might be watching this video because you actually want to do this. Um, try not to focus on my big schnoz in the way and try to focus more on the fin. Thank you.
I know what you're thinking. I don't know how I am single either. So something I kind of came up with uh, when I did the first fish is just by taking a hacksaw blade and just going through and roughing up all the fins and that kind of makes it look a lot more natural because no fish has a completely perfect smooth fin. They're always usually a little bit roughed up. In the next video, we're going to work on face details and scales. So thanks for watching and hope to see you again.